Hi guys, this is Leslie. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please think about liking and subscribing. I'm doing videos about um, for the next period of time, not usu my usual content. I'm going to be doing what I call silver linings. And specifically, I wanted to talk to you today. I've been posting these daily or so about uh, actually something that I have talked about on this channel before, and that was minimalism. Um, I've been hearing um, people, you know, trying to get through these next couple of days, weeks, who knows. Um, it's the end of March right now that I'm doing this. And one of the things I have th been thinking about a lot is how minimalism, which is, if you are not familiar with minimalism, I'll put it, I'm going to make a note actually to do that because I'll forget, link it. I have done some videos about um, minimalism and I'm a big proponent of minimalism and it's just kind of cutting out the excess in your life, both the way you dress, your actions, where you, you know, just, it's a really good, it's a really good, for me at least, it's a really good way to live your life. Um, it brings me um, peace, it brings me happiness, and it, it, Declutter if you're when you are decluttering your house, which my house is pretty cluttered. When but when you de start to declutter your house and your area, and you, you also declutter your mind and you save time because you're no longer choosing what you know, uh, uh, you know, you're just simplifying things. Um, one of the things that I have found that being a minimalist or trying to become a better minimalist has really helped me and prepared. My, me and my family for this current situation. I've said before that I am a home buddy and um, I, so we don't really go out all that much and if we do it's pretty family oriented and um, we are trying to be frugal and uh, you know we're always trying to be frugal and you know obviously there are experiences that my family has um, and we we go on a vacation or so but you know, we're pretty family oriented and staying in our home. Um, one of the things that I've been doing as a minimalist is I've been cleaning and I've been decluttering. And that has been something that has helped me get through this. And at the end of the day, I feel really good about it because not only am I decluttering in my house even more, but I just use several hours of time. Um, I'm hearing that people are bored or looking for things to do, that is always a great thing to do, even if you're someone who is already a minimalist or is trying to get to be a minimalist, there's always a, a dirty junk drawer or a pile of laundry to be done. And so cleaning has been helping. I've um, passed the time. I've also been cooking a lot more than I usually do. I cook, but I mean, in terms of cooking, not just the dinner, but learning and not just learning, but like I've, I keep on saying, I've been making big vats of soup that my family is eating and I am eating and it's very healthy. It's very inexpensive. It's very easy. And again, it's all a good thing. This is the time to be learning how to cook or cooking more. I'm a little surprised, although I do think it's supposedly good for the economy, how many people I hear are going out to eat, because this would be a perfect time to learn how to cook at home. And um, if you have a computer in your home, which I assume most people do, not everyone, but or even if you have a phone, you can pull up recipes for anything if you don't have a cookbook, because I know the libraries are closed. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I think that minimalism is something that has helped me and my family so far, it's still only two weeks in, get through this crisis relatively unscathed. I suggest that if you are not a minimalist, that that is something you might you want to look into. So that is my silver lining for today, how my family and I are coping through this, through this crisis right now. Again, I always say in every video, I am, we are not dealing with a medical crisis ourselves. Any of us are not, so that is obviously a whole different ball of wax if you were going through that. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I encourage you all to keep yourself socially distanced from others, get out and get some exercise, uh, being socially distanced, and um, continue to wash your hands because they say that's the big thing, and keep your hands away from your face. Thank you so much. This is Leslie. Um, if you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.